Well, what happened was someone tipped me off, said, hey, you know that REM have covered uh, West Country Guy. I said, no, don't believe it. And yeah, sure enough, what they did is uh, every year they give away yeah. like 6,000 copies of uh, a song they've I either, think on like Christmas. Demo or they've knocked mm. it up together in the studio and they give it away at Christmas time mm. to all their fan club members. Mm -hmm. And uh, as was it, uh, 92, I think it was. And um, yeah, they, they recorded Where's Captain Kirk. And judging by the arrangement, it sounds like they've copied it off the Erga Music War version, the arrangement of that. And they've copied it like in a sort of a rehearsal thrash style. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite amusing. I to be fair, I don't think it is as good as our vision, but um, yeah, I'm it's, sure. uh, it, is, uh, it is a good uh, uh, kudos, you know, pat mm -hmm. on the back, mm -hmm. to, to know that some band as big as R.E.M., I think, uh, because the before they were formed, it was about the time when Captain Kirk came out, uh, the bass player was working in uh, a, a music store, a, a vinyl record store in... And he in Athens, oh. and he would have imported stuff from London and rough trade, particularly. And I suppose he, he quite liked the song when he was um, before he formed REM. Yeah. And then when it came around to choosing a song, maybe it just popped into his head, and they decided to kick it around and put it out as their fan club giveaway. Mm. Which means that I am not uh, now a millionaire, where <laughs> had it been the B side of one of their uh, top-selling singles. Anyway, 